Previously on The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 4. Joel shows his survival skills earned from 20 years of, sci of surviving the Cordus Apocalypse. And Ellie halfway executes the dude. It's not her first time tasting blood. Ellie makes dad jokes left and right. She's pretty good. She would be actually a very good road trip companion. Super fun. And Joel hates them. But he loved them. What did you think jokes. about the episode? The dad jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, episode five. I really enjoyed the episode. More of Joel and Ellie solving problems, going through Kansas City, you know, sneaking around, trying to escape evil people. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, I was really surprised by how many resources the soccer mom gang has. I mean, yeah. trucks, fuel, guns, headlights, you know, just, patrols. Just wasteful. Just power, you know, all of it. Not only are they wasting it, they seem to have, you know, abundance. So, yeah, I think rebelling against those guys would be a problem. It's a sign uh, of their yeah. well-functioning society. Yeah, absolutely. Which maybe Fedra set up before the rebels took over. So, But they're maintaining it. They're maintaining it so far. The ending, oh, super sad. Which I really like this ending because it put, like, it was the cordyceps fungal infection was the reason why the sad story happened so sad you know brother infected nothing you can do, nothing you do. life brutal Ooh, yeah and i want to see more episodes like this hardship joel ellie together characters dying why do i want to see this what am i doing because it's real because oh and it hurts it it it's a sucker punch I really enjoyed the relationship between Henry and, and Sam. I, for, well, first of all, I thought that was father son. And, and even though they're not father son, they're their older brother, younger brother, Henry really is a dad. He's, he's such a good dad, even compared to many other dads. You'll, you, you see it in their relationship, how much they, they trust each other. I also really liked in this episode when Ellie ran out of ammo. And she just switched the knife, went out stabbing. She went straight melee. And, and she's just fearless now. And there's a lot of loot left in that sinkhole. Remember this? Like like they like the the soccer mom gang, they went after Joel and Ellie and they couldn't get him, and then a bunch of them died. Like whoever rolls up next on this sinkhole is gonna find a bunch of goodies. So you're saying near the sinkhole, there's a bunch of goodies. Oh yeah. It's not like a boss fight in the sinkhole. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go into the sinkhole and you just grab up all the loot that exploded out of the boss. No, you're talking about all the, the soldiers that fell over. Fell over. They died. And yeah, now they have guns yeah, I mean, and they fell over. and shoes. Yeah, also in so, the sinkhole, there's probably a bunch of like med packs, maybe some MP potions. That's right. Because you need to, you know, get your health up after the boss battle. Oh, and the boss battle, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. You ready for, to talk about the episode? Let's do it. The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 5. Oh, yeah. So this is the beginning of the episode. And uh, this is a soccer mom. Her name Kathleen. is Kathleen. Kathleen. And this is her. She's talking to basically her right-hand man, her second-in-command. And they're right now, they're in front of the troops. And I couldn't believe that the second-in-command was questioning her. Kathleen's orders in front of everybody, like undermining her authority. Couldn't believe it. Let's watch the clip. Couldn't believe it. Okay, I want our people going door All to door troops. until we find him. No. How long do you think we should wait? Oh, fuck it. Let's give him a month. I'm not saying we do nothing. Door to door take a lot of men and there are other things that probably He's need. not my seventh priority, Perry. I mean, it's legitimate concerns, bring them up in private. In private. I mean, he's attacking her authority in front of the group. The group needs to believe in her so that they follow her. She he strikes at her and like verbally by questioning orders, and she totally just parries it. Just just cuts him off, deflects, mm -hmm. parries him out of the way. The right move for the second in command. I don't know his name. The second in command. Perry. The right move is oh, it's Perry. There we go. Oh, the right move for Perry is even if he disagrees with her order, he immediately springs into action. Says go 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 go. Let's do this. She said go. Let's go. And then later, be like, is this the right thing to do right now? And then they talk it out in private. Mm -hmm. Janic man. Got to follow it. Mm 
of this. <laughs> this was uh, two flashlights. So they should probably just have one on. Mm -hmm. And apparently everybody gets a flashlight. Wait, so why should they left, only have one on? Well, let's say there's battery, you know, limited battery power. So you exactly. probably only need one to see. Um, a second one probably is enhancing, isn't enhancing your vision much. So to preserve power, number one. You know, probably don't even need them at all. Preserve that battery power for as long as possible. Oh, yeah. True. Certainly don't use two. But then, of course, everybody has flashlights. If you go to the left, you know, they run into the, the old doctor. doctor. Also has a flashlight. Blast in. Full, full charge on the batteries. Then they have a lantern. Oh, what the, 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 the lantern. And the there's, lantern. So, there's so much power. He's got the flashlight on the floor. Not even using it. And it's not even using it. No problem. Wait, wait, wait. Is this daytime or nighttime? Wait, these are windows, right? This is windows with paper up? It's daytime. So. It's daytime. So they don't they even need the lantern. The they don't paper. Even need the yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get a place with skylights. Just during the daytime, you have no batteries on, and then you can see stuff outside. Maybe they found a Costco, and there's like a 50-year <laughs> supply of D batteries. <laughs> They're nuts with batteries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the doctor and this is Henry. Henry and Sam's behind the camera. You can't see him here. They're holed up in the safe house that the doctor found from, from a former patient that was a Fedra agent. And this scene, oof, this scene sucked me into the episode um, because of the relationship between Henry and Sam. And here's Henry. He's tense. He's watching outside. He's watching Fedor, uh, not Fedra. He's watching the, the Kathleen's agents, her gang, walk around and patrol. And he's taking the entire burden of the situation on himself. He's given his little brothers crayons and he said, just play. Just just be a kid. Just, I mean, be quiet. Be, hide in here with me. But your kid, just just play. But when the doctor doesn't come back and Sam puts it together, he asks very honestly. And you can see, I mean, this, what do you do when a child looks up to you with these eyes? Like he's 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 encountering the world and the darkness and the evil. And but what what do you tell him? And you got to you got to tell him because he needs to know what's going on in the world around him, because otherwise he can make a mistake and get everyone killed. And that's exactly what Henry does. He says, probably, yes. And and that's I mean I don't know how old um, Sam is I think he says six maybe eight and that's 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 a lot even for a grown adult and and uh, he comes in for a hug and you can see it on Henry's face like I had to tell him the truth but I've just taken away a bit of this kid's childhood like ooh oh that's so painful but he as a, as a father figure he's killing it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he's killing it. That's right. This is super this is so good. Like he 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 sees that he's taking away some of the childhood, some of the youthful innocence of his little brother, and he hooks him up with with the the Ninja Turtle eyes. And and you can see it. Like like this is a big like an older brother patting the younger brother on his head, taking care of him. Even in this dire situation where they're stuck up in this in this attic for almost two weeks, 11 days, maybe, maybe two weeks if they stretched out that food. The other thing that caught me about this scene was, was what's the plumbing situation like? So first thing you could, I, there's no way there's running water or working toilets. Like, like the entire city, right? Like, right. So that means maybe they designated a, uh, a can. They have paint cans in there. Maybe they just like plop, plop, plop in that paint can. That's right. Drop it below the paint level. It doesn't stink. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Immersive. And then when someday somebody, somebody tries to paint their walls, like surprise, you got shitty paint. Yeah. Oh, and then I guess with house looks like P, shit. you just arc it out the window. It's true. It's true. There's, you know, there's no, you know, risk in that where the rebel agent, the rebel <laughs> soldiers are like, what uh, is that? It's raining. It's raining. Is that you, Henry? <laughs> <laughs> nobody else i know does that <laughs> that's kind of henry's thing <laughs> <laughs> i 
Okay, so here, here, this is Sam and Henry walking up the hot the tall building, trying to sneak up on whoever's in here. And there's this glass. Last episode, I was upset that Joel was putting glass inside his room when he should have been putting glass outside. Joel's on it. He put the glass on the outside. But they step on this glass. Like, that's loud. I mean, I just imagine, like, sneaking around during this this super quiet time the post-apocalypse time sneaking around at all would be super challenging because even their jackets your jackets cannot be unzipped if you're sneaking around why because if you step just a little bit hard and your zipper jiggles without well in a very quiet environment a jiggle of a, a jiggle of a zipper is a loud sound yeah so how re so also little sam is deaf now, this is a big problem in the apocalypse where everybody is listening intently for all everything going on in the surroundings, and he has no access to that information. So not only could he not hear people coming, but he cannot measure like or understand how much sound he's making during his movements. Right. Not only people listening all the time because there's no thing, there's nothing else to listen to. There's no television. There's no music their hearing is enhanced because they don't have like the everyday humdrum of like washing machines, heaters, cars, or even just people foot traffic. Like you would get very accustomed to nature sounds and nature sounds only like crinkling of glass doesn't happen naturally. Like you'd be very attuned to stuff. Right. So you're in the city, there's no noise, you know, no, none of that modern life noise. And you're, you're not even, even if you're not actively listening, but you're just, you know, sitting back, you can, you're listening. Your brain is on autopilot listening for danger. Way to go brain. Yeah. That being said, Sam is a beast. He's so, he climbs up on top uh, of Joel to like, to like point his gun at him. Like he, he's not standing next to Joel, like not standing a few feet away. He's straddling Joel's legs. No, he's, he's in full straddle pose power position i've got you this kid's bold he's got confidence it's, it's bold for sure they just they just watched this guy kill people and he's like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna come over top of him and intimidate him i know showmanship <laughs> i'm a bluff his gun's empty i'm a bluff i got some showmanship that's right this kid Ooh, this, the back, the back and forth between Henry and Sam. This got to me. This is like it's just one line each. It got to me that they're so trusting of each other. Like I was, I was expecting the older brother to be like, "I'm going to trust him. Like do it, little kid." But no, no, no. Sam asks back, "Are you sure?" That means like the trust between them. They're so peers. They're so they're so open connection between each other that he's able to question his older brother in this tense situation. Like. That's a good parenting. That, that's just A plus parenting. All I all I see is him talking back. What's he doing? You sure? Yeah, he's questioning his superior in front of the enemy. Yeah, that's, that's right. Point. Showing weakness. Joel could have swept the leg, and then it would have been all over. Sweep the leg. <laughs> but they make friends. They make friends, and and here's Henry and Sam are eating some snacks that are supplied by Frank, actually. And Frank, um, so Ellie says like. Where do these snacks come from? Uh, Frank, and he's dead. And you see their reactions. They're like, uh, these people are sketch. Like, Ellie just got over telling Joel to be nice. Like, you you sound scary. And then she does this super scary stuff. Like, yo, yo, like, settle down. Like, don't, don't tell people you just watch someone die. Seriously. Plus, Ellie has that, like, intimidating stare she's been practicing. Like, she was in the bathroom last episode. So she made it, she thinks she's being all cutesy, but actually she's like scaring the shit out of people around her. Like this kid's psycho. Mm -hmm. Kid's intense. She got knife talents. She's a sharp one. Knife. <laughs> I had nothing. Okay, so they make the deal. They make the deal of let's be friends. That we have this common goal. And <clears throat> Henry. Does this does this baller move? Instead of just explaining where he's gonna go, he takes the time and stops. He stops the entire conversation to to involve Sam. Make sure Sam's involved with the with the grown-ups. And he asks Sam to like he asks Sam the question. And so he makes 
Henry makes everyone wait. And like Joel and Ellie are like, mm. like, what is this? Like we were in the middle of a conversation and all that comes out is that Sam writes tunnels. Henry could have said tunnels. <laughs> why do, why do you do this? He's a salesman. He needs to make sure that Joel and Ellie are on board. And he's like, where are we going to go? Tunnels. That's where we're going. But then and Joel then and Ellie are like, tunnels. big reveal. I'm on board now. Showmanship. Henry. Heck yeah. I like this guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, these parts. So they actually decide to go into the tunnels and they're just blasting flashlights and making noise and talking left and right. I was like, ah, there's, you know, infected down here. Maybe people down here. I don't, you don't even know. And also four flashlights, count them. Four, one, two, three, four. There are four Flash. lights. There are four lights here. Unbelievable. You know, they should have one on. Because you need the other three as backup and you need to conserve power. Why would you blast five lights? There are four lights. Yeah, imagine if like 20 minutes later, all four of the flashlights run out. No, no, no. Let one run out. You, got, you need some amount of light to see underground, fine. But keep your other three ready to go in case you need them. And also stop just stop declaring where you are. To be. What if there was someone back here? Don't let them know. Sneak up. So you need the flashlight to navigate, but you can point it at the ground in front of you, mm. not start mm. shining it down the corridors. That's right. What if you get like a mirror or something and it reflects and now the light goes even farther somewhere where you can't see? There could be somebody alerted around the corner and then they'll be waiting for you. That's right. I think we're saying you got to sneak, 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 sneak. Yep. Ooh, it's scary. This is scary so even scary. without infected. Oh, that's right. That's right. You imagine how much you could hear down. You just hear everything. That's right. And then and there's like it's nothing just, moving. Oh, you would hear everything. Yeah. Terrifying. And it's like, oh, creepy. Oh. And what, yeah, what do the kids do? <laughs> they play soccer. They play soccer because it's not scary because there's a goal on the wall. The goal is to not get killed. And part of the not getting killed is being quiet. It's one of the rules. Right. So when you put you know, kick a ball against the wall a bunch of times, making this loud noise. No problem. I mean, I wonder if that's what happened to the kids that used to be here. That's right. They scored they and then down. they were killed. Yep. Oh, and here's more sneaking around in the middle mm -hmm. of the road in moonlight. I mean, this is not really sneaking. <laughs> Didn't we say a while ago, we said if they're walking down the middle of the road, that could be safer because they're announcing their presence to people around saying that, hey, I'm not a threat. Don't shoot. Mm -hmm. But they're definitely in enemy territory. Yeah. It's time to see. They're sneak. actively being time. chased by, yeah. by Kathleen's gang. Yeah. Plus, there could so, be infected around. Got to go quiet. Got to go quiet. Yeah. And Joel's exactly right. You can't have your flashlights run on because you got to be quiet. You got to sneak. Got to sneak. Let's uh, let's watch the compilation of them sneaking around real quiet. Wait, 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 wait. This part <laughs> of the episode, he had just watched Joel kill somebody. Like he knows that there are active people outside. Yep. And he slam he slams the desk into the door. He sends it into the door so the sound reverberates through, you know, via the door to the outside. So everybody around here is this clunk. And they're like, what? what's that? They needed a teamwork this. He'd be like, hey, lift it real quiet. Yeah. Super quiet. Lift it real quiet and place it down really gently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if either of you guys try anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so much yelling. Yes, oh. Boom. Oh. Yeah. Stop no way. Around. I love these. Stop yelling. I'm excited too, but I'm also excited not to die. Not to die. Keep it calm. So it's not, keep it quiet. Yeah. And here, the door opening and the door slamming shut and the flashlights being blazing everywhere. 
Oh, <laughs> you got to peek at the door and check. You can't be doing this. Eesh. Do you know where we are? I know exactly where you are yeah. because you made a lot of noise. <laughs> I could have been looking the other way. I hear this door slam. Like, oh, what's that? Oh. A person. Oh, where do I hear look? It's dark and there are flashlights. I look there. Yeah, right over there. Got to sneak through. Why? Why? No one is here. No one's going to be here because... So much goddamn talking. So much goddamn talking that they'll come right up to a sniper. That's right. They're... They, the sniper, if they had been sneaking in the backyards, you know? Yeah. Would the sniper have been able to see them? I'm not so sure. He doesn't have night vision. He's just an old guy in a, in a window. Okay. If they had, like, walked with their, like, feet in each other's steps, then they may he, the sniper may have been like, oh, there's, like, a raccoon outside, whatever. Cool. But no, he saw four people. Saw four people. This is Kathleen's gang. Oh yeah, so this is the view from the old sniper nest. And just, mm -hmm. they've got how many, they've got four trucks here with, you know, ridiculous headlights. They've got fuel, troops, guns, jackets, shoes, a snowball truck. I mean, their logistics are in supply That's chains true. on point. They have supply management successes getting all these things. I mean, it takes it takes a lot of, res of um, responsibility, a lot of organization to get these things functional. They have excellent you supply chain management. Yeah, you don't have access to modern factories and modern globalized supply chains. You got to do this all locally. Very, very challenging. They have good supply management, but not good anger management. They're all here because Kathleen is way too angry. It's like she's yeah. going to pop off at any minute. Yep, she's doing the old, I'm angry, so I'm going to walk down and intimidate everyone in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. She should be in the back. She's the leader. Get her in the back. That's out right. of harm's way. What is she doing in the front? In fact, I thought Joel was going to snipe her. Yeah, and me too. Yeah. Instead, we get this explosive situation. Whoa. Like, what was in it's, that truck? It, it must be munitions. Because I don't think a gas tank would go up so ridiculous. It's not that big. I, so I think it, it was like, even if they had like their fuel supply, like their mobile fuel supply, like that's still a pretty big boom. Right. And I think the fuel would burn more than explode. So maybe, they sent maybe. in their plow truck with gasoline plus munitions. They sent that in first. Maybe it's their heaviest, hev most heavily armored truck. So, oh, and also maybe even also just the heaviest one because they're, like, they're trying to push cars out of the way, mm -hmm. right? So more mass, yeah. more momentum. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it must have been the spark got the fuel tank, and then the fuel tank went up, which then set off the emissions, and then. Like grenades and extra ammo, or whatever. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. How about... Ellie, Ellie's been holding a gun for like all of like three days. She's already got run and gun mastered, like wheeling around, taking shots off. Look at this! What a soldier! She even like e even in the headlights with like the headlights blinding her, she's able to wheel around and take the shots. But we do see, we do see it towards the end here. This slide is locked open on magazine empty. She's empty. Yeah. So she had Which not a full magazine from the beginning, right? That's right. So she had. You, I was expecting 10 rounds plus one. And then if she had one in the chamber, but then she ended up having five plus one. That, that's okay. That just means that Frank shot it off before without reloading. Yeah. But that and also Frank means they should back. have picked up more ammo and oh, yeah. loaded the magazine at Frank's place. Always loot, leaving. loot, loot, loot. Loot, loot, loot. Always loot. ABL. Always be looting. That being said, Ellie, she's got some melee skills. She's emptying her gun. She pockets it, whips out her knife, and she's just right back into the fight. Right in the back of the fight. 
Not yet. She does not go after the bloater. What, yeah. is, what did you call this guy? I called him. I cur- it's been so long since I played the game. I think they're called bloaters, but yeah, bloater. I just called him Big Boy. Big Boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I saw that, I was like, Big Evil. Like, he's bigger. He's extra evil. And he had the extra growl and you had the extra mm-hmm. strength. Yeah, super evil. This is definitely mm-hmm. like the boss of the team, right? Oh, yeah. This is what, like, you get the, the good loot off of this dude. Oh, yeah. He drops hella med packs. And this this is a this is a clicker. Like this used to be bad, like difficult. And then Ellie, she's upgraded, she's leveled up. She's just like, nah, I'm gonna stab two of these in the back of the head. Just mm-hmm. clean them up. No problem. What a badass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this is the motel they stay at after the big battle. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, wonder yeah. which room they're in. Could it be the lit one? The what lit are they doing? One? Light. What are they doing inside? Light Look, discipline. They're- they're blasting that lantern which by the way does it ever run out of propane you, we said that we've established that probably not an electric one it's probably propane so there's limited supplies they're just blasting this thing out why to read comic also, books at night not only do they have one lantern on they must have multiple lanterns on because the comic book is actually facing away from the lantern oh. that means she's reading the book with light from behind her. So there's multiple mm. lanterns going on. They're like super announcing themselves to the world. Like, I'm right here in the in the motel. Come rob like, me. I mean, if you're seeing stars, it must be quite dim. And then where do I look in this motel? They're right there. The one that's lit up. Not only, let's look, look at this. That's a window. That's a window pane. This window's open. <sighs> it's open. This window's open on the ground floor with the lights on. I mean, I guess it could get warm in there. Yeah, but, th- but then if they're talking, all that talking is just going right out the window. So so they can't talk. Well, they shouldn't have the light on and they shouldn't talk if they want to be cool. But then they have to close the window if they want to talk a little bit, but keep the light off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang out on the roof. It's a nice night. In fact, where this camera is pointing at the motel here is a perfect location for somebody to scout them out and be like hmm what are they doing without being seen oh yeah and since they're sitting inside a a room without blinds they're sitting in a fishbowl so they could actually somebody from the outside could just look in and see what they do see what they're doing yep yep snake snake better snake better oh and ellie so ellie's in the in the kids room with Sam and they're writing messages on this board. And this this board is super important. It's basically infinite paper. Not only is it Sam's yeah. communication method, it's also infinite paper. This thing is really important. So take care of it. And they're just like, they're like, whoa, you're gonna break it. Ooh, you're gonna rip that. It hurt me. That's the last one of these. Hey, no Toys R Us anymore. Well, you're going to get one of these. Yeah. Yep. And Sam's like, good. this is my only way to communicate to people. Yeah. And infinite paper. What if Sam is like super brilliant? He's got like equations in his head and he like works him out on this. Now he can't anymore. Or, or, or <laughs> you could go simpler. Just be like keeping track of like numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> like you need an address. I'll throw it. <laughs> like, I'm going to be doing complex physics. <laughs> complex or some like set theory some shit some abstract not applicable for fixed 50 years and you have this much space to do it yeah one of these like the next einstein of the generation you don't know you don't know you don't know i don't know you know maybe okay but ellie is not an einstein (laughs) because yeah i'm sure maybe she thinks she has she has magic medicine blood okay i get it i mean something's going on with her arm making her survive but like he's infected and you know that uh, and she knows that she gets injured and gets infected for a little while, but then her body clears it up. Why is she touching his leg? <laughs> like just just squeeze some blood out. Squeeze some blood out of your hand like an orange and then drip it into his leg. Maybe that'll work. But like don't risk getting whatever is in him on your hand. Well, she wants to make sure that her blood goes one way and his blood goes the other way. So they fuse diseases together in one to make them stronger. Make them stronger. Our powers combined. Yeah. Fusion. Ha. Wow. 
Ellie, just just drip blood at people. Actually, just drip spit blood, blood at people. people. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and the end result of this was this. Oh, that's that it. was brutal. You know what? Let's let's watch the scene again. Let's watch it. Oh, you go find it. Let's go find it. It's at the end there. Okay, it's somewhere there, somewhere like that. A little bit more. No, a little bit more. There's his arm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh no, it's brutal. Oh gosh. Hug. Hey. I fell asleep. You done turned it up? Oh god. Wow. So he stops Joel because he's just not thinking. Yeah, because he stops Joel because he thinks Joel's going to attack his little brother, which is right. Mm -hmm. This is right. He has not yet figured out, like, that's not my little brother. But then then it dawns on him. (laughs) Boom, headshot. (sighs) Got him. Oh, it's terrible. Got him. Got him. I can't and watch then, this. I can't watch this. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. Then, you know, it dawns. It, he, now he's figured out that he actually had to kill his little brother. And then he thinks about he just killed his little brother. And Joel is like, wants to get the gun from him because he knows what he's going through. And he can't he get the gun from him to stop him from shooting himself. He just. I Ugh. thought that so I thought the first time Joel was saying give me the gun it was because like because Henry was a threat like he thought he thought he was going to turn on him but then yeah, as right. he he kept asking his tone changed and he was asking for the gun back cuz he knew that Henry would be on the edge like he was actually looking out for Henry like this relative stranger It's brutal brutal if there was such a fungus like this, this is the kind of situations people would be put in. And the only thing you can do is just say, well, thanks, nature. Thanks, nature. That's right. I love the terrible scene, very painful, but excellent scene. <laughs> he was I loved right. it too. Because, because it's the type of thing that people would encounter. I felt yeah. real. Yeah. This is the day after. Super happy they took the time to respect the remains of Sam and Henry. However, do you have the calories <laughs> to start digging holes in the That's open? Right. That's right. And they had shared some of their food, so they have extra extra few calories to use. Yeah, yeah I mean, imagine if they're exhausted and they're, running, they're hungry and then they can't run from things. It's awful, but... Given how important Ellie is, you might just have to leave the bodies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can't burn them because that's going to create smoke. You can't right. bury them because that takes too many calories and water that you just don't have. Also, just time. Like, you're still being hunted by whatever remnants of Karen, of, of uh, Kathleen's gang there is. Plus, that horde. That, that horde went somewhere. That's right. So, there, there's... I mean... They, they are a sort of out of danger, you assume, but like it's not that far behind. Also, it how do they change. drag the bodies from all the way from the motel to where it is right now? That's a distance. Isn't that also a risk? Like what if what if Sam like rolls over and like his teeth just catches their leg? <laughs> like, and you're infected right. now. Yeah, that's right. Great job respecting your friend's remains. However, it's a waste. It's a waste. I'd bury you. Okay. Thank you. Mm, mm, but mm. if you were in the oh. apocalypse, I would ask you from beyond the grave not to bury me and leave me there so you could survive. It's a good point. I'd leave you. Take my shoes. The shoelaces. They're worth a lot. In yeah, that's right. <laughs> the shoelaces. <laughs> I'll take your library pass too. 
<laughs> and learn everything. That's right. That's right. Because you can't get in the library without a library pass or card in the future. I don't make the, them anymore. Uh, post apocalypse. Yeah, well, they don't have laminators anymore. What are you going to do? I need to take yours. Yep. Just change my name legally. Yeah. Who's going to stop me? What legal system is there to stop me from changing my name? Do what I want. It's pure freedom. So join Wait, us next time. We, what? <laughs> should we cause the apocalypse for freedom? Let freedom ring. No, let, let's not. Let's not do that. Ch okay. Catch us next time. Cordyceps. Cordyceps. <laughs> Fungus for freedom. Oh. Detritus for Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. That's how it's pronounced. Detroit. Ooh, damn. That's a new one. Catch All us right. next time. Catch you next Episode time. Episode six next week. The Last of Us. The Last of Us. <laughs>